in these problems, we have some decimals. And we need to convert them to a fraction and then make sure they're in simplest form. So we'll have to simplify them if that's necessary. The way you convert a decimal to a fraction is you find the place of the last number, you know, going this way. And uh, after the decimal point, the first place is tenths. And that's all we've got here. So our denominator is tenths. And then the number is what goes on top. So this is 2 tenths. 0.2 is 2 tenths. We can simplify this, though. Both the top and the bottom are divisible by 2. If I divide the top by 2, I get 1. If I divide the bottom by 2, I get 10. So 2 tenths, or 0.2, is the same as 1 fifth. Let's try another one. Here we have 0.25. So to make my fraction, I'm going to count the place of the last number here. So this is tenths, hundredths. So hundredths is what I'm doing here. I, a 100 goes on the denominator of my fraction. And then this 25 goes on the top. So I have 25 one hundredths. And this is definitely something we can reduce. 25 out of 100, these can both be divided by 25. 25 divided by 25 is 1, of course. And 100 divided by 25 is fourth. But you probably knew that because 25 cents is a, a fourth of a dollar, a quarter of a dollar. So that is how to write a decimal as a fraction and put it in simplest form.